The least thing was he asked, can you give me a cup of water? In John chapter 4, we see the story of the Samaritan woman and her encounter with Jesus. All Jesus did was simply ask for a cup of water. He says, would you give me something to drink? And we see that, we see the surprise from the Samaritan woman because regularly the Jews and the Samaritans didn't see eye to eye, you know, based on culture and the things that they believed in and looking at our life today we will see that these cultures and this social class have brought in a sort of a barrier between us and some certain people because we feel that you know we're not in the same social class or we're not in, we don't have the same culture we don't believe in the same things and sadly, we see it also manifesting in our churches because we tend to now see segregations based on all of these factors that are in the world. It also happens in our worship centers or our churches as we call them. But looking at the life of Christ, we see that he, breached, he broke every barrier. It wasn't about, it wasn't about where she was from was about who she was as in her person and you wanted to reach out to her and this is the work that God has called us to do and so whether we are it's in our doing based on our the way we see ourselves like you know some people can say I'm shy or I'm not just wired that way or I'm not a people person well maybe that was one of my <laughs> One of my excuses, you know, I'm not a people person, I'm shy, or you say, or you're looking down at someone because they are not from your social class, or you, you guys don't believe in the things that you believe in, the same things, or, you know, all these things to Christ, it did not matter. We see Christ reaching out to every single person, and the least thing was he asked, can you give me a cup of water? So I want to encourage us today to emulate that because we have to be intentional about the work that God has called us to the work of reaching out to souls and the work of discipleship we have to be conscious we have to do it deliberately and if we don't do it deliberately that we're not going to stumble or happen to stumble upon it we have to make that decision to do it let's open up our lives let's be generous with our lives let's share our testimony of our of how Christ has transformed us of our growth. Let's share our testimony. Let's serve, you know, let's serve people, everyone that we meet. Let's, let, it, let it not be that we are the ones that are blocking some people's access to Christ because we are shy or they are not from the same social class with us or we don't, we, are, we you know, we're not just peoples, you know. Or uh, you know, I'm I'm from a certain certain cultural background. Oh, you know all these things that put that barrier. Let's break down all those barriers, just like Christ. Let's be Christ in the midst of the earth. Really, really, really consciously starting small is the way to do this work. And I really do pray that we will be encouraged to do the work. I pray that God will grant us the courage the boldness, the strength to do that which he has called us to do. I pray that our lives will be open, that we'll be open to serve people, to serve everyone. I pray that our love for people will grow just like Christ's love for them. And, and we reach out to people as ambassadors on the earth. Let's not forget that it is all about Christ. It's none of us and all of him. See you again next week. Bye-bye. Thank you so much you guys for reception in my videos that I've been doing for the past months now I really do appreciate it and if you think that this encourages you and you think that people need to hear the word the truth and you know so that it can spur them up to search more and go deeper in Christ please do share share it as much as you can to your loved ones and to everyone yeah everyone